All right. What's going on in the Bitcoin space and all the drama with the aggregate saga there over the weekend? So for those who aren't uh, following it, you know, the uh, end chain, which is the one of the most, uh, they are one of the most technical, highly technically valuable companies in the, in the world right now. It's, uh, it's out of, I think they're out of Switzerland or, or is it, is it UK? Uh, they may be, I don't remember the exact address of where they're located, but, uh, they have more intellectual property in the Bitcoin and blockchain space than most any other company. It's, it's arguable that it's more than even the big institutionals. I believe it's actually far superior than anyone. You have to really double check the fact check me on that, but it's a massive amount of intellectual property, meaning that they've patented thousands of patents, you know, hundreds for sure have been awarded in the Bitcoin space. And then many, many thousands have been, have been uh, sent into the U S patent office and around the world. Now they had hired a guy called Christian Eger Hansen to be their CEO in December. And he was a, he was a pioneer back in the early tech days in 2000 and, and had a lot to do with the early internet. But at this point, you know, he, uh, he made a lot of, made a lot of claims and stated, stated a lot of things that were, uh, disruptive, what appeared to be disruptive. And then, so then Calvin Air, who's a, who is a, was originally the founder of a company called, uh, Bodog and has had tremendous success with Air Ventures. He single-handedly, well, him, and another guy called Stephen Matthews, who I met there in London, and then Dr. Craig Wright, you know, they basically, you know, basically created a team to save the original Bitcoin, the original 2009 Bitcoin. So they, they came together to do that. And one of the ventures that came from that was called Enchain. Okay, so this is a over, I'm talking like an over a many year saga phase, just real recap. But ultimately, Enchain now, uh, was Calvin Air, the billionaire billionaire investor and really controller behind a lot of a lot of this stuff in the Bitcoin space right now? He he took a big position in Enchain, and with that big position, he became a uh, significant shareholder, and then had Agar Hansen fired for what Calvin called incompetence. Then Agar Hansen went off off the deep end and did what looked to be like. Uh, what looked to be like poor negotiating strategy, strategies or uh, you know, perhaps leverage of trying to get, get his way or just maybe just a, an upset person stomping his, his feet on the ground, uh, throwing a lot of uh, negative and hateful information on Twitter and over the internet uh, that are just base, okay, without facts, and when people make these uh, these claims, uh, you know, he made a lot of wild claims that he that, he's, that he says are uh, that he has done all this and believes this information about Satoshi and and Doctor Wright and you know these things, but he doesn't back them up with any facts. Meaning, like, uh, there's court cases coming up right now. If he's got any facts, then I give him a challenge. Put your facts on an affidavit and let's see you in court, pal. Get before a judge, swear to something, put your hand on the Bible and do it under penalty of perjury. Otherwise, let's leave the childhood, childish gossip for the high school games and move on to business because it's clear that the, the big, original Bitcoin space is the, is the most, I mean, utilized uh, chain in the world out of all the, other, uh, all the other blockchains. And it's also clear that it's being developed upon in a major, major way. And there's another another guy from a company called Bab Babbit Babbage, just a really sincere guy, a founder of the company that made a really genuine video, and was heartfelt and how his company was being harmed from these negative things that uh, Edgar Hansen was saying without facts, and you know he just didn't appreciate it. And so in his defense, you know, when people when Edgar Hansen's coming out and doing this, I mean, really. Put your money where your mouth is and let's get in court and have, have some litigation. That's what it's all about. We don't need to get into a Twitter space uh, yelling match over, over what, how you didn't get your way. If you've got facts, bring them. Five minutes. That's all I got. Gavin Mail, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.